Eight years ago, seven innocent men and women were rounded up and thrown into Iran's infamous Evin prison. After more than a year of illegal detention, they were put on trial, accused of alleged crimes that, in fact, related solely to their religious belief and practice. The arrest and imprisonment of the seven reflects the systematic cradle-to-grave persecution of Baha'is that is among the most serious examples of state-sponsored religious persecution in the world today. During their first year of detention, the seven were not told of the charges against them, and they had virtually no access to lawyers. Their trial, based on non-existent evidence, was illegally closed to the public, demonstrating the extreme bias on the part of the prosecutors and judges. Changes to Iran's National Penal Code in 2013 have led to the reduction of their sentence from 20 to 10 years. By that same law, they must now be granted immediate conditional release. The new law says that they are to be released after serving half of their sentence, and that has more than been satisfied. In the 1980s, more than 200 Iranian Baha'is were killed, hundreds more were imprisoned, and tens of thousands lost their jobs or were denied access to education because of their beliefs. Since 2005, more than 800 Baha'is have been arrested, and as of February 2016, at least 80 Baha'is, including these seven, were wrongfully imprisoned in Iran. Baha'is are continually under the attack of hate crimes, blocked from attending university, prevented from worshipping as they choose, and discriminated against in a wide range of economic activities. Despite all of this, Iranian Baha'is do not consider themselves victims. Even in the restrictions imposed on them, they fulfill their spiritual and social responsibilities. We are in the eighth year of their incarceration. It is time to say enough, release the Baha'i Seven. We call on those then who believe in the right to freedom of a religion or belief to join the worldwide Baha'i community in saying enough. People of the world who value tolerance and justice and recognize our oneness stand up and say enough.